In a small village, there was a school. The teacher's name was Tom. Tom was tall and kind. He loved to read stories to his students. The village was quiet and beautiful. It had old houses, big trees, and a small river. People were friendly and happy. One day, Tom heard about a legend. It was about a ghost in the village. The ghost was called the Headless Rider. Tom was curious. The ghost was seen near the old bridge. It rode a horse at night. People said it looked for its head. Tom wanted to see it. Tom decided to find the ghost. He took a lantern and went out at night. The moon was bright. The village was silent. He walked to the old bridge. It was old and made of wood. The river flowed quietly under it. Tom looked around. Suddenly, he heard a sound. It was the sound of a horse. Tom was scared, but he stayed. He wanted to see the ghost. The sound got closer. Tom saw a horse. It was black and big. On the horse, there was a rider. The rider had no head. Tom couldn't believe his eyes. The headless rider was real. It stopped in front of Tom. Tom stood still, too scared to move. The ghost pointed to the river. Then it rode away into the night. Tom was confused. What did the ghost want? The next day, Tom told the villagers. Some were scared. Some did not believe him. Tom wanted to understand the ghost's message. Tom went to the old library. He found a book about the village's history. He read about a soldier who lost his head in a battle. The soldier was buried near the old bridge, but his head was never found. Tom thought the ghost was the soldier. Tom decided to help the ghost. He thought finding the soldier's head would bring peace. He started searching near the bridge. Days passed. Tom looked everywhere. In the woods, near the river, under the bridge. But he found nothing. One night, Tom sat by the river. He was tired and sad. He wanted to help but didn't know how. The headless rider appeared again. It came close to Tom. This time, Tom was not scared. He wanted to help. The ghost pointed to the river again. Then it dropped something from its hand. It was a small, old key. Tom picked up the key. It was very old. He wondered what it opened. He looked at the ghost, but it was gone. The next day, Tom searched the village. He looked for anything that could be opened with the key. He found an old chest in the attic of the school. The chest was locked. Tom used the key. It opened. Inside, there was a metal box. Tom opened the box. Inside the box, there was a skull. Tom knew it was the soldier's head. He had found what the ghost was looking for. Tom took the skull to the old bridge. He buried it near the soldier's grave. He hoped this would bring peace to the ghost. That night, Tom went to the bridge again. He waited for the ghost. The moon was bright. The village was quiet. The headless rider appeared. This time, it stopped and looked at Tom. It seemed peaceful. Then it vanished. Tom felt happy. He had helped the ghost find peace. The village was safe again. The legend of the headless rider was solved. The villagers were grateful to Tom. They no longer feared the knights. The village returned to its peaceful life. Tom continued to teach. He told his students about the adventure. They listened, amazed. Tom became a hero in the village. The legend of the headless rider became a story of bravery. 
It taught the villagers about helping others, even ghosts. Tom never forgot the ghost. He often visited the old bridge. He remembered the adventure. The village was peaceful and Tom was happy. After the ghost vanished, Tom felt a new energy. He knew he had done something special. He walked back home under the bright moon, feeling proud and happy. The next morning, Tom shared his story with his students. They sat in a circle, listening closely. Their eyes were wide with wonder and excitement. What was the ghost like? One student asked. Tom smiled. Scary at first, but then I saw it was sad, he explained. The children nodded, understanding. Tom's story spread through the village. People talked about it everywhere, in the market, at the well, and on the streets. Tom was a hero. The mayor of the village visited the school. He thanked Tom for his bravery. You have made our village a better place, he said. The mayor decided to honor Tom. He planned a big celebration. Everyone in the village was invited. It was a happy day. At the celebration, there was music and dancing. People ate and laughed. They were no longer afraid of the ghost. Tom stood up to speak. He talked about courage and kindness. We must always help others, he said. The villagers clapped loudly. The story of the headless rider changed the village. People were kinder and braver. They remembered Tom's lesson. Children played near the old bridge. They were not scared anymore. They knew the ghost was at peace, thanks to Tom. Tom kept teaching at the school. He loved his job more than ever. He knew he had made a difference in the village. Sometimes at night, Tom walked to the old bridge. He thought about the ghost and the adventure. He felt a connection to the place. The villagers built a small monument near the bridge. It was for the soldier and the headless rider. It was a place of peace. Every year, on the night Tom met the ghost, the village held a small ceremony. They remembered the story and its lessons. Tom wrote a book about his adventure. He wanted everyone to know the story. The book was loved by many. The book became part of the school curriculum. Tom taught his students about history, bravery, and the importance of helping. Visitors came to the village to see the old bridge and the monument. They had heard about the Headless Rider's story. Tom received letters from people everywhere. They were inspired by his bravery. Tom felt grateful and happy. The village remained peaceful and beautiful. The trees grew taller and the river flowed quietly. Life was good. Tom lived a long and happy life in the village. He was remembered as a teacher, a hero, and a friend to ghosts. He had changed the village forever.